Hey, hey, everybody! I'm Michael. I'm playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is the Tail Cave, the first dungeon of the game. So I'm gonna knock these enemies into a pit here for a little key. Yay! And then in this room, it looks like I need to fight all these enemies in order to open that door. And I just got the compass! Now you can see where all of the treasure chests and the nightmare are hidden in the dungeon. So, take a look at that map. That's where all the treasure chests are hidden. Cool. So the thing I really like about uh, uh, the, these uh, 2D Zelda games is they really put a lot of thought into the dungeons. And you can basically do the dungeons in pretty much whatever order you want. So I didn't have to go left from the start. I could have just gone uh, up from the start. That would totally work. Oh, and here's the enemy. So this small enemy, uh, when it attacks me, it doesn't do damage. But I can't use any items when the enemy is attacking me. So that's, that's what makes that enemy particularly tricky. So let me see. In, uh, in Zelda games, just in general, uh, w what you do is you try to kill all the enemies in a room. That generally is considered solving a puzzle. And uh, you can also step on switches. Okay, so this room, the puzzle was to step on the switch. And that gives me a small key. Okay, and like I said, I can do, do the dungeon in any order. So I could go left or right here. It doesn't really matter. So this is a room where the puzzle is uh, just to beat all the enemies. Very common puzzle, you'll see it all over this game. Okay, and here's a particularly special enemy. Uh, the boss is gonna be uh, a larger version of this enemy. So, defeat all the enemies in this room. There's only one of them, so it's no big deal. Giving you 20 rupees! Joy! Ooh, and this looks difficult. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay I'll destroy this enemy here. Ah, good, I got a heart. So, um, these enemies can't really be destroyed yet. So in order to get that treasure chest, I'm just gonna have to use good timing. Here. Yeah! You got a small key! And there's a treasure chest I can't reach. We just have a big pit in between me and the treasure chest. So let's go up over here. Ah! That's an enemy. It, it's it's a really spiky enemy, so uh, if you move close to it, it's gonna fall down. Uh, uh, not fall down, it's gonna move in the direction towards you. So you want to do that. You want to make it attack you, and then go past when it's uh, moving aside. Okay, so I'm using my small key here. And as I said, it's really cool you can solve these uh, dungeons in basically any order. So, uh, you know, I don't have to use my small key on this locked door. I could have used it on another locked door instead. Alrighty, so I'll just go over here. And this is a puzzle. You want to push this block up. Simple enough. Okay, in this room, I imagine uh, I need to kill all the enemies. So use your shield to knock that enemy upside down. And then you hit it twice. And this gives you some stairs. Over here is a stone slab. You can't read it because part of it is missing. I'll talk more about that later. Oh, and this is this is something that's pretty cool about this game. We have these uh, side-scrolling sections with Mario Goombas. Yeah, Goombas from the Mario game. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, actually. I think I think it's interesting to have these Mario characters in, in a Zelda game. Okay, so that that was pretty simple. And uh, now we go forward. Whoop! Ah! Almost, almost got hit by those enemies. Okay. I just go forward to Rock's Feather. So this is a pretty awesome item. I I really love this item. You just use it to jump. And that's basically it. Yeah, I can use it to jump. I can jump over gaps like that. I can jump over holes in the floor. I can jump on top of enemies. And uh, jump over enemies like that so the enemies don't hurt me at all. Because I just jumped over them. That's nice. That's what I really like about this item. Letting me jump over enemies. Yes. 
That's the little you solved the puzzle jingle, and I did solve the puzzle of defeating all the enemies. So I think here I, I, I'm gonna have to go to the right. Because I tried going to the left to get that treasure chest. It didn't work. I'll try going to the right to get that treasure chest. Oh, and here's a, another locked key area. So I could go there and, and, and do that area first. You know, that's the uh, area with the mini boss, unless I'm mistaken. Or I've got a key here. I, 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 I've. Ah, okay, hold on a second. That enemy is totally destroying me, because I'm distracted because I'm talking. <laughs> or, I could use my key on this. Unlock that block to get that cool treasure chest. You've got Nightmare's key! Now you can open doors. The door! Yeah, just one door, actually. The door to Nightmare's lair! Can you defeat the Nightmare, Link? Can you do it? I don't know, do I have a key? I still have one key, that's that's what it says here. So I've got the one key. Oh, I, I, um, oh no, like I said, there's a mini boss waiting for me on the other side of that door. Okay, I've got a heart. Okay, now I feel more confident about fighting the mini boss. And there is no mini boss on the other side of this door. My mistake, the mini boss is on the other side of this door, and now I'm down to one heart again, and I'm not feeling confident at all. So this mini boss, it 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 it, it rolls that thing at you, and you need to jump over it. So the boss, you'll see all these jumps uh, from left to right, but it, it follows a distinct pattern. So it will always land in the same spots every single time, and I was I was not smart enough to get out of the way. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll try again, I'll try again. This time I'll go a slightly different route. Check out the rest of the dungeon, why, why don't I? So let's see, do I get something cool for defeating all the enemies in this room? That's kind of a tough enemy because it's like jumping up and down. Okay, I do get something cool for defeating all the enemies in this room. It's the dungeon map! At last, you received it, Link! So now we actually get to see what this dungeon looks like. Ah, okay, pretty cool. And hey, this takes me right back to where I was. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now let's, let's fight this mini-boss for real. boss doesn't always jump in the exact same spot every single time, because it hit me when I was on the bottom, right? And it doesn't seem to be jumping on the bottom this time around. There we go. Okay, I defeated it. Once you defeat the boss, you get a fairy, and you get a little warp tile. So you can use that to warp uh, from one spot to another. Basically, from the entrance of the dungeon to anywhere else in the dungeon. And this is just creepy. This this area, it's got dead people. No items or anything, just corpses. So we've got a really, really dangerous boss here. Ah, 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 oh, <laughs> didn't mean to go down the stairs. Okay, go up, trigger the enemies, and then go forward to the boss. Which, as promised, is a larger version of that enemy we saw earlier. Buzz, buzz, outsider! It can only hit its tail. Unlike, unlike that enemy earlier, uh, this, this boss has a specific weak point. And that was not a very tough boss. It is the first boss of the game, though. So I got a piece of heart. No, a heart container. A heart container. I got a full heart container. So now I have four hearts instead of three. And let's get the instrument. You've got the full moon cello! A wonderful, wonderful instrument! Swamp. A path opens in the blooms! That's a hint as to where to go next. You need to go to the swamp. So let me show off uh, two more things here. 
that's how warping works. You warp from the first room of the dungeon to there, and let me get that treasure chest that I missed. I save this for after the dungeon because it's it's actually kind of difficult. So what you want to do is hit these these enemies so they all have the exact same symbol. All have the same symbol at the same time, and this is just really hard. But, uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't want to waste everybody's time failing this puzzle over and over again. Oh, I've already lost this round. Ah. Okay. No. Ah. It's just hard because the enemies move around randomly. Even if the enemies stayed in place, it would be difficult. Just because the timing is, is really tough. Really tough to get this timing here. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh no, almost. Okay, got those two. Oh. I thought I had those two up the top. Uh, cuz if you get two that are like right next to each other that are correct, that's good. Cuz you can freeze them both at the same time and they'll they'll still be in the same spot. I just, I just am terrible at this. You can see why I wanted to save this for, like, totally separate from the main dungeon, because I just can't, can't solve this puzzle. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the heart is always after the club. Ah! I got the heart there at, at, after it doesn't, after I don't need it anymore. Arr. Two hearts in a row. This could be it. Come on, come closer to me. Got it. Okay. Yay. Yay. So what does that get me? That gets me a fragment of a stone slab. So, we, we have that stone slab uh, up in the upper left hand corner, I believe, of the dungeon, and we have the stone slab here. So, uh, you put it in this spot, it says, turn aside the spined ones with a shield. So that's a hint as to uh, how you beat those enemies, those enemies we saw earlier. I mean, you use your shield to, to knock them aside. Out of the way, enemy. I'm gonna see what the other, uh, secret messages from the other stone slab. Oh, and over here is a wall you can destroy. Yep, you can destroy that wall. Actually, I don't think this is where that other stone slab was. Wasn't it, wasn't it like to the left? Yeah, yeah, no. It's to the left of the first room. Right? I could be wrong. We'll check this out. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, nope. Okay. It was not left of this room. Okay. I guess the stone slab was in fact up there. Well, whatever. I died. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I've got time. I might as well... I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll show off what the other stone slab secret clue is, even though I've already beaten the dungeon. And I don't really need to see it anymore. I don't need clues as to how to beat the dungeon. I've already beaten the dungeon. Wait, easier to get through this room, obviously. Okay, here's the stone slab. So those were the two enemies that you, you beat with uh, your shield. And it's the exact same clue, actually. Okay, so both these things give the exact same clue. Ah, oh, okay. 
Well, anyway, a lot of dungeons in the game uh, have things like that. They have, they have the stone slab, which you can uh, get little hints and uh, tips for. Yeah, I'll have to remember to come back here once I get bombs so I can destroy this this wall. That wall can totally be, be destroyed with bombs. However, I don't think I can get bombs this early on in the game. Okay, so that's it for the Tail Cave Dungeon. Thanks for watching, everybody.